Welcome back. We are here looking at the energy market, and this is going to be my daily forecast for Friday, April 29th, uh, 29th 2022. If you like support our channel, you will hit the subscribe button down in the corner, hit the like button, the bell button to see our newest videos, and let's, let's get to it. So we'll start by looking at the crude oil, and as you can see, we are getting squeezed into a corner here, and at some point, this is going to break out, whether or not it's going to be the upside or it's going to be the downside. At this point, it's not clear. Um, considering that um, GDP data, for example, today was horrible and gives us an uh, indication that the world economy is basically going to slow down. Chinese economy is definitely slowing. United States economy is slowing. European economy is expected to slow. So demand for oil is also going to to um, to change um, and not for the better it's going to change for the worse and therefore um, there's going to be less demand for for oil and prices should fall uh, due to that there is um, of course other factors are playing in the war in europe is a significant factor when it comes to energy which we are going to discuss when it comes to natural gas um, but at this point, it's just a waiting game. It, it, it is it's 50 50. It can go to the upside, it can go to the downside. But to the upside, we have a um, resistant barrier here at 109. We have a resistant barrier here at 116. And a resistant barrier here roughly at 120, 125, give or take, within this area here. To the downside, we have a, we have a, a barrier here that we have tested several times and we, we which we need to break which is roughly at uh, at 95 breaking below that opens the door to the 200 moving average all the way down to 83. macd is flat at this point stochastic is bullish and the rsi is bullish as well we're up 2.65 percent but it has been all over the place recently so let's look at natural gas because this market well it's nearly untradeable at this point you could make the argument that we are forming a flag pattern and if that is the, the case then we are going to see a massive rally to the upside in in the next few trading days i just don't see that occurring uh, what is more likely is that we break below the middle of the bullinger band and drop all the way down to the 50 moving average that's probably that's more i'm more in that camp um this rally here was mainly due to the fact that Russia cut off gas to um, to uh, two European countries. Um, it was Bulgaria and Poland, if I remember right. And of course, that will affect the price of natural gas, even though this is the uh, 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 is, uh, is the U.S. market. So this rallied significantly yesterday, roughly seven percent pullback, and it pulled back at a very specific point because if you look at the Fibonacci retracements here, we can see that it pulled back right at the 61.8 Fibonacci retracement. That's where we pull back. And due to that fact, I don't really think that this is going to go higher. If we do, then we are most likely going to go significantly higher. higher. But we can, so see, we can that see that the market is pulling back 5.42% today. And we have broken below the lows of yesterday. We're at the end of the session and there is just still selling it going on. So breaking below this level here, which is at 6.6 .6, middle of the bullish band, that could really make this market tumble towards the 50 moving average. There's other factors as well. That is the double top here, that one and that one, which is in the range of roughly 6.2 and 6.5, right where the 50 moving uh, uh, middle of the bullish band is at this current stage. So, if this drops down here, drops below, then we may see this market drop towards the 50 moving average, which at that point would be around 5.7. Break it below that. We need to take out this and also this candlestick, and that makes this to drop all the way down to the 200 moving average, which would be around $5 at that point. If you look at the, look at the MACD, we can see that MACD is bearish, the candlestick is bearish, and the RSI is bearish, but still, if you trade this market, be really careful because Putin can put out some kind of news tomorrow and 
this all just changes completely and this rallies uh, 10, 20, 15% to the upside. Um, so, so it is a nearly untradeable market uh, considering, considering um, that things can change on a dime. So hope you find this helpful. You want to support your channel by subscribing, hit the like button, the bell button to see our newest videos. And good luck and thank you very much.